Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then my name's Chloe and I post hauls and vlogs here on my channel. On Tuesday, me and James are going to Disneyland Paris for the first time. So I thought I would do a little pack with me and also take the opportunity to chat about our booking, who we're going with, what we're doing, how long we're there for and how much it cost. Um, I just thought this might be a nice little insight because I love watching Disney videos myself. Um, but I feel like booking Disney holidays Days can be quite overwhelming and um, we've never actually visited any of the Disney parks yeah it's a lot to take in and it can be a very expensive trip so I just thought I would chat you through everything I normally film in my bedroom um, but I just thought it'd be easiest to do it in here because I'm going to lay my suitcase out on the bed um, and obviously get things out of my wardrobe to pack I've also got a cup of tea and it just made sense to use a Disney mug so I've got this Mickey Mouse mug which I think I bought years ago in London, like a very long time. Um, I'm hoping to add another mug to the collection, um, obviously when we go to Disney, because there is a lot of gift shots. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to have my cup of tea, start to pack and have a little chat with you. Firstly, some of the logistics. So we're actually going by coach with Goldcrest Holidays. It's a company that my mum had already heard of before. So I started to have a little look and research. Um, I did also shop around and compare against going by uh, Eurostar and also flying but it just felt like going by coach was one and um, the cheapest option for us personally, two the most laid back way of travelling. Albeit, we are setting off very early at 4.45 in the morning from our town and we're probably not going to get to Disneyland Paris till late evening. In my mind, it means that we get on with our suitcase, we know what's what, um, you know, we've got our seats and we're set for the day really. Um, obviously, you're going to stop at service stations or either on the ferry or the Euro Tunnel to get over to France. Um, and, you know, it is a long journey, but I think with lots of snacks and lots of download films, I think we'll get through it absolutely fine. It just feels very organised to me. Um, I'm a nervous flyer anyway, but the thought of driving to the airport, waiting for the plane, getting transfers adds a lot of stress to any holiday for me. So to take that away, then obviously that's great. We're staying at Hotel Cheyenne, which is about a 20 minute walk from the parks, but obviously there is the free shuttle buses. And um, because we're staying in a official Disney hotel, it means that we get the magic hour, which if you don't know, it means you get access to the parks an hour earlier than the public. Um, so it means that you've got that hour of time where it's a little bit quieter, um, so if there's any specific rides you want to go on or things you want to do, then obviously it's going to be best to do that within that hour um, when obviously there isn't massive queues. We leave Tuesday um, and obviously get there on the evening. Um, we have Wednesday and Thursday full days in the park and then Friday we come home. It's a quick trip. I think with Goldcrest you can go for an extra day if you want, um, but that just seemed like enough for us. Food-wise, we opted for the half board plus package, which was a little add-on. Um, so obviously it did cost a little bit extra but it means that we get breakfast in our hotel both days we then also get a three course meal and soft drink in pretty much any of the restaurants i think with it being the plus and um, you can pretty much choose any in the table service restaurants the themed restaurants the buffets so we actually paid 1150 pound in total for this trip which is obviously the four days the two days of travel the two days in the park all of our food we're obviously staying in a Disney hotel so I don't think that's too bad when I compared against some other prices Um, it is obviously just me and James so kind of make the most of it while it's just us and there's no kids or anything because then it's obviously going to get a little bit more expensive it's probably a little bit cheaper when we're going because it is mid-January so it's going to be bloody freezing but it's also midweek and you know not during a kid's holiday or anything hoping that means it's also not as busy um but we'll see so our plan for the two days in the park the first day we're going to spend the whole day in the Disneyland park we will probably both days have a break and um, through the day and go back to the hotel for a little bit of a rest and a fresh up because obviously it's going to be a long day second day we're going to spend the first half in the walt disney studios park which has the avengers campus because that is a smaller park once we've done that we will just go back to the main park we've also booked the restaurants with a half board you can choose either lunch or dinner but i said i would prefer to do dinner as a bigger meal um, and for lunch we can just grab a snack or to one of the quick service restaurants you can actually book the restaurants two months in advance before your trip 
I put a reminder on my phone to do that and when I went to do it I was just too overwhelmed I couldn't decide where to pick and then I left it till very last minute where there was barely anything left. First evening we're booked in the steakhouse which looked good obviously it's not like a themed restaurant um, but I had a look and I didn't really want to go to one of the buffets so I chose this one because it is a table service restaurant. Do keep checking the app though because obviously if anybody cancels you may be able to squeeze in somewhere else and then the second day I originally had us booked in at a buffet which as I said I didn't really want to go to one of the buffets just I've watched videos that shown them and they just didn't look that good. I said I was checking the app and there was a cancellation so I managed to get us into the Manhattan restaurant in the Marvel Hotel um, so we can have a look in there while we're going for our meal um, and I just think it fits in quite nicely because obviously we're going to be doing Avengers Campus the second day and then obviously we're going to be having a meal in the Marvel restaurant. Okay so I'm going to start rambling and start packing however just quickly I am going to be vlogging this trip. Vlog our travel day and then do a room tour so that'll probably be a shorter video. Um, but then I'm going to do a full vlog of day one in the park and then day two so that'll be two separate videos and then when I get back I'll be doing like a sit down haul showing you anything that I purchased in the parks and also just giving a review as well because as I said it is our first time. Let's get packing. So I thought I'd show you a few specific Disney items that I've got for the trip and then I'm going to show you just generally packing everything else. Um, so obviously I can't go to Disneyland without some Disney ears. Um, I got these ones from Primark for £6 and I think they're so pretty and I think they'll just generally go with all my outfits as well. Um, just with it being black and gold, I feel like that's a colour that'll go with everything. Um, I would have loved to purchase some official Disney ears and justify spending that amount on Disney ears, especially because I don't know when I'll next be at Disneyland. Um, but yeah, I thought these were really pretty and if I'm honest, because it's that cold, I'm taking some earmuffs. So I feel like these will just be a photo prop as opposed to wearing them generally through the day um, but I think they're really cute and you know for £6 can't go wrong so how cute are those Christmas my mum got a mini mouse power bank um which I think is going to be so handy in the parks because as I said I'm vlogging and I use my phone personally um for content so yeah it just means that I can keep my phone topped up with charge through the parks through the day and how cute is that as well and obviously it's something that I can use again and again a few shopping bags so this one is the 30 years celebration little Disney shopping bag and I thought that'd be really cute just to fold up put in my little bag for the days that I'm in the park and then if I buy anything I can take it out and just pop it in there and um, so it saves me carrying lots of bags around and then I also got this one I think from home bargains um and this i'm gonna put snacks and things in for the bus journey and again james could probably fold it up and put it in his bag um i don't know how much we'll be spending in the disney shops but just in case we've got a few little bags um and i just thought they would come in handy more than wise um i really really wish that i could put together some really cute disney inspired outfit but the truth is that we're going when it's going to be absolutely freezing cold. It's going to be warm and comfort that takes priority. Um, I picked a few jumpers from Primark with Disney characters on for Christmas. Um, so my mum got me those. So I'm going to be taking them. So I'll show you. And I think I'm just going to wear them with like leggings and Ugg boots or trainers um, and a big warm coat. And I'm really just going to have to see what the weather's like. I am going to take a couple of coats. I've also got some little hand warmers that I'm going to take. Um, um, and obviously, like I said, my ear morphs, a scarf, uh, but we're just really going to have to play it by ear because I do not know what to expect. It also says it might rain. Um, but then equally, you know, when you're walking through the parks, you're going to get a little bit warmer from walking. Um, you know, sometimes you're going to be inside or on rides. So, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. But these are the jumpers I got. So I've got this one here which has Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore and Piglet on and it's just a really nice cream colour. Stand up to show you actually but this one has Simba on so it's the Lion King themed and it is a chocolate brown colour. This is one of the most comfortable ones um, and this is actually a hoodie and it's got Minnie Mouse on. 
how cute is that I had large and i wanted medium but it does mean that it's a little bit more oversized so if it's really cold i could actually put one of the other jumpers underneath this one um uh, but yeah really comfortable and i love the burgundy color with this pop of pink um so yeah that's really cute i've borrowed this one from someone at work again which is a hoodie it's khaki green and i think it's got bambi characters on uh, but yeah that's really cute as well so I've got four jumpers obviously I've got two days of travel two days in the park but I don't know if when we go back to the hotel for a little freshen up I might decide to change jumpers I'm not sure um, but that's the four jumpers that I'm going to take so I'll wear one of them to travel I'll wear a t-shirt under whatever I travel in and then I might take a thin kind of knit turtleneck as well just in case it's really cold and then I can put that under one of them for the park days this has just turned into a haul so this isn't disney themed um but i got some leggings from matalan which are like a ribbed effect i don't know if you're going to be able to see those um i got them in a 16 and they were 15 pound but i was on the hunt for some thermal leggings considering it's winter i couldn't find any anywhere um i did find one pair in matalan but they were size 18 and they were far too big which is a shame um and i didn't want to buy something that i would only wear while i was there so these are uh, a bit thicker than normal leggings but also they're quite fashionable and i really like them so i could wear these generally um after the trip as well and um, so i'm just gonna wear my jumpers with these and then i've got some ugg boots as well um that i'm gonna take these are new though um not real <laughs> I don't know how suitable they're going to be for walking around the parks so i am going to take some trainers as well i think these would be very warm and cozy it's quite funny because james is one of those guys that just wears shorts even when it's at minus five he'll have a coat on and a body warmer and a jumper and a hat and gloves and whatever else but he will be wearing shorts with his bare legs and um, he was going to wear jeans for Disneyland but then I thought that's not very comfortable if you're going to be walking around a lot and you know getting on and off rides. I got him some black joggers from Matalan and also some like tracksuit bottoms which are the same material as his shorts which he's actually got on now he's being converted um so yeah I got him those so I think he'll probably wear these on the coach and the other ones in the park and it just means his legs can be a little bit warmer. Obviously, I needed some Disney pyjamas for the trip. Um, I got these ones for Christmas from my mum with Minnie Mouse on. And they feel very soft and cosy. Um, so I can't wait to wear these. So another benefit of going by coach means you are not restricted on luggage. Um, so originally, me and James were just going to take a small suitcase each. And then I realised that wouldn't work because I'm taking this coat here, which is a waterproof coat. Um, and then I'm also taking my black puffer coat, which is actually a four in one. So you can take the sleeves off and you can take the bottom off. So I've took the bottom off and that's going to just stay in the suitcase. And then I'm going to wear the actual coat tomorrow um, to travel. And it means that when we get there, I can make this into a longer coat, which obviously will keep me warm. Um, but yeah, so as I said, obviously going by coat, we can just take as much as we want. Um, I've still got quite a lot to get in here. Um, but the suitcase does extend a bit as well, which is good because obviously we might be buying um, some bits while we're there. So Ruby's just having another look at the suitcase and this is what we've got snack wise, which probably isn't an awful lot compared to what some people take. Um, obviously, I've seen that you can take your own snacks in and refillable water bottles. Um, there's lots of different ways to save yourself some money. And then obviously, because we're traveling for the day, we're going to be stopping at service stations as well. Um, I don't want to really buy any snacks on the way there, but I will be probably getting things to eat for breakfast, lunch, tea at the service stations, whether that's like fast food or, you know, sandwiches and things. Just the money that we've saved is generally just going to all go on food anyways. So especially in the parks, I know obviously taking your own food will save you a lot of money. But for me, like part of the experience is getting the Mickey Mouse shaped pizza and, you know, cookies and, um, you know, like the cakes and things like that's just going to be part of the experience for me. And the money that me and James have got, like I said, because our meals were already paid for and our tickets are paid for. Other than a few bits that we might pick up in the gift shop, the rest is dedicated to going food anyway. But I'd still show you what I've got. So to take in the suitcase, we've got some Lucasaid Sports in Raspberry. 
so i actually don't drink a lot i really struggle to drink enough water anyways but these i find that i can drink easier and um, so me and james are going to take one each for each day we're in the park so they're going to go in his bag we've got some twirls to keep at the hotel so on an evening when we go back to the hotel if we want a little snack we've got those and we're going to take these in to the parks with us as a little emergency snack but as i said we're going to have breakfast in the hotel we're going to get lunch in the parks and some snacks and then we've got our meal um already paid for on the evening as well um and then for the bus we've got some pringles oasis capri Sons, um white chocolate smarties i've never tried them before some little cookies m m's freddos um so yeah as i said like i'm hoping i don't really need a lot more snacks um because i imagine we will be getting meals at service stations um, a few other things that I bought as well. Got some hand warmers, some ponchos. I don't even know if I'll use these to be honest because I'm hoping my coats will be enough. It is expected rain on Wednesday and then I think snow on Thursday. Um, but I thought we'll just take them anyway for emergencies as it says. So I've got two of those, got some tissues, charge our headphones. And then bag wise, I'm taking this bag from Primark. It's one of the dupes of the, I can't remember what they're called, but the popular ones, you can fit loads in there. So that's what I'm going to be taking with me, which will probably have like the important things in, like my purse, um, tickets and yeah, just some bits and bobs. James is going to take his backpack. I think he's going to take this on the coach and then we're also going to take this in the parks with us as long as it's not too big. I'm, I don't know if there's any requirements or anything, but I'll look into that um so in here is going to go our drinks um and then maybe some more layers so whether that's like another coat or like scarf gloves things like that like things we'll need through the day and then obviously if we buy anything in the gift shops they can go in there um and we're going to take them bags so we're going to fold the bags up in here as well hello <laughs> you having fun Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. I'm now all packed and it honestly doesn't even feel real yet that we're going. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. My travel with me and hotel room tour should be up in a couple of days. And then as I said, following that, there'll be the day one in the parks vlog, day two, and then a haul and review. Um, so do stay tuned for those. And if you haven't already, please do go and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.